What's good, everyone? Let's talk for a second, all right? So I'm on the MetaZoo Discord, and you probably see it surfacing across a lot of social media pages. And one thing that I see at the bottom, the very last comment from Mike himself says, at everyone, tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern time, we will unban everyone who has ever been banned from the Discord. As we roll out the new IP, let this be the time of healing and friendship. So this is a huge comment, right? This is a huge move from MetaZoo. And that's what I want to talk about because honestly, there are some positives and there are some negatives to this. And I would really love to hear what a lot of people have to say. Like I always tell y'all, right? I'm a big believer in MetaZoo. I still do like MetaZoo cards and I hope that they turn and steer the ship in the right direction, which a lot of people would agree. I do think this is a good move to make, right? But there's some inherent underlying issues with it. And let's go ahead and talk about that. That's some things that I want to discuss. And I'm really interested in hearing what a lot of you have to say, the good, the bad, the ugly. Feel free to leave whatever comment you would like to, because this isn't me trying to bash. This is me trying to create a dialogue amongst a lot of the fans and stuff like that. But I also want to speak my piece because I do have a lot of money tied up in MetaZoo. Like a lot of you out there, and a lot of you already dumped what you had in MetaZoo and moved on to other indie TCGs. So that's what I want to talk about. So first and foremost, right, he wants to unban everybody who has ever been banned. Now, looking at some of the numbers, right, just a rough estimate was probably right around 5,000 people that were banned, which is one in every three people were banned from their Discord. So the unban would basically bring back majority, putting them right around 18,000 plus um, people in their server for discord. Now, does that include other social media pages? Does that include their Reddit? Does that include, you know, their Instagram, um, their Facebook pages, whatever they have that's official, right? Are you going to unban people on every single Avenue? And I see this as an issue because obviously you have some people that do not have MetaZoo's best interest at heart, right? There's a lot of people that are angry that are going to bash MetaZoo. There's some people that don't care about it. They're scammers. Um, out there, right? You have people that are just trying to scam people. It's a very dangerous thing to unban everyone, right? And then where do you draw the line? Are you able to ban people in the future? Where is that line, right? So with, with Mike still being in a hot seat, right? Mike still driving the ship. I mean, what is he going to do in the future? If you ban people for something as simple as an emoji, um, how are you going to stop from banning people in the near future? Because once you do this again, it's going to be like crying wolf, right? Like nobody's ever going to trust MetaZoo again if you go in there and just do the same thing over and have people banning everybody. That's going to be a nail in the coffin for MetaZoo if you do that, right? Because you're going to lose a lot of trust. And also, if, if a lot of people get unbanned, a lot of people are not willing to come back to the MetaZoo Discord. So I don't know if this is genuine. I don't know if it's because an underlying cause you realize that you're losing a lot of money and a lot of people are shifting over to other avenues. And then once you realize enough was lost, that it's time to unban all of these people that you banned in the first place. But the problem with that is a lot of people are not gonna come running back to MetaZoo just because you do this. To me, this is not yet. I'm not saying that you won't, right? This is not a sincere apology. I'm writing a message on your announcements Discord where we would like to see a video apology and some people obviously would like a lot more, but I want some context. There's no context to this message. Why are you unbanning everybody, right? Why? Is it because you lost a lot of money? Is it because it's sincere? Is it because you realize that your game isn't growing fast enough? Is it for positive or negative reasons? Is it really about healing and friendship? That's what I want to know because a lot of people that you're going to unban, you know, had turned away from MetaZoo because of how they were treated. I mean, some were banned for, for good reasons, right? And some were not. But the point is, a lot of them already dumped their MetaZoo and took off. They're not coming back to MetaZoo, right? You're going to have to grow your game because those people are not coming back. Now, a lot of people only join Discord to get on MetaZoo's Discord server, and they're not going to re-download Discord just to come back to MetaZoo. It's just not going to happen. So this is a very interesting time. Now, once again, I do hope that this works out for the better. I do want MetaZoo to grow. I'm hoping that this is a step in the right direction. 
I'm hoping that they keep their word and they make the right moves after doing this because it can hurt you more than help you if you don't. And I'm just curious to see what happens and what the blowout is going to be. Now, expect a lot of salty people, a lot of angry people that some have no reason, right? I'm not saying the ones that do won't come in there and make some constructive criticism comments, but the ones that just don't give a shit about MetaZoo, right? are going to come in guns loaded, guns blazing, and trying to start drama in the Discord server. And once that occurs, what are you going to do, Mike? What is going to be your move at that given time? So you have to be very cautious, tread water lightly, right? Um, I don't really go in the Discord that often anymore because it just seems like an echo chamber to me. I don't really feel like you can speak your mind in there. There's no constructive criticism. And pretty much anything that MetaZoo puts out, I can gather from other and various Discord servers that I go into as well. So, so just here to speak my piece, right? So if you got some comments, if you got some feelings on it, feel free to drop it down in the comments below. Let's chat about it and we'll go from there. So appreciate all of you tuning in. Once again, this is not a negative video. I do enjoy MetaZoo. I hope the best for it. And I'll be back soon with another video, and I'll see y'all later. Out.